everybody. In this episode, we're going to make navigation bars. So navigation bars are ways to get from website to website inside of, or web page website inside of your website. So like, for example, when I click on my computer science page, yes, it, sh it shoots me to the computer science, but there's like no way to get back to my homepage or even to another page. So for example, great resource for coding is W3 schools. You can see there's horizontal nav bar here, vertical nav bar here. Uh, another one of my favorite websites, it's ESPN, you've got your horizontal nav bar here, vertical nav bar here, and content right there. So we are going to build a vertical navigation bar over here. Um, and we're going to jump to some similar websites. And so let's get started. So first thing we want to do is right up here in the head, uh, we are going to create what is called a an ordered list. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to close my unordered list. Um, and between that, now I'm going to start bringing in some links. Um, one of the links you can do, first of all, you can just like grab this right here. Um, after the anchor tag and the close anchor tag, you can copy it, bring it up here, paste it. Um, and then before your anchor tag, you're going to add li for uh, link, close that, and then, or I'm sorry, bring that in, um, and then we're going to um, close the link. Okay, and uh, then we're going to make this first, we're gonna change this. Um, actually, I'm just going to copy this whole thing Let's phase it back up. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to make this first one instead of the computer science page. I'm going to make this my index page. And I'm going to call this my home page. Now, spelling is always very important because, well, we want to look like educated people. But also, um, capitalization and spelling also make sure helps you make sure that your tags and your links work correctly. So you got to make sure that it all connects. So, so right now I've got a link to my index, which is my homepage. I've got a link to my computer science, which I call CompuSci.html. And when I go here and I hit refresh, you'll see that I have these two. I have these two bullet points. When I click it, it sends me to the right page so far so good um next thing i'm going to do is copy this bring it down paste it here i'm going to change this page to fave favorites.html and i'm going to change this to favorites uh, and then actually, I'm going to put my scratch page here, and I'm going to call this scratch. All right. And when I hit refresh, there it is. It's in that order. Let's see if the links work. Does scratch work? I don't have anything on that page. So, yes, that does. Does favorites work? Yes, it does. And so, now one thing you can do is, I can kind of tighten that coding up from my, for me it's line eight to 13. Um, I'm going to copy that because I know it works. I'm going to bring it into uh, the same spot on my compu uh, computer science page. I'm gonna bring it into the same spot on my um, favorites page. And I'll make sure it's before this close header and then um, actually I'm going to, since I don't have anything on my scratch page yet, I'm just gonna copy all of this, bring it here, paste that, refresh, and just see if it works. All right, now I can go from page to page. All right, so far so good. And this is why I like making kind of checkpoints um, and showing you um, how to first of all refresh uh, you don't want to go until the very end of um 
you know, coding and everything, and all of a sudden you may have made a mistake uh, on step two or step one, and you don't know where you're at. So I always like adding a little bit of code, testing it, making sure it works. So this is the part where I am going to stop the video. I wanna encourage you to take a time out, make sure that it works, uh, and then the next video is going to be styling it. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions, leave it in the comments um, or feel free to email me. Have a great day.